So he's back up the middle. He breaks loose. Weaving his way towards the end zone. Wade Rowe. Wade Rowe. He breaks loose. It's the American Shotgun hands over to his back. Down at the 50. Gain of red. Comes this way to the power. Down at the 39. Down at the gate. Down the deep one. It's tough. Uh, Coach Mike Brown, three-time champion from the Rockers Hornets Clock Wars. It's a three-for-three three type of day, so three words to describe the day's win. Well, um, for one, we would, we'd like to say rest in peace to Lord Day Day. Man, uh, we dedicated this season. To me personally, we wasn't even going to play football this year because of COVID. But we couldn't let these kids just sit in the street and keep dying and do nothing. So we uh, took it upon ourselves to gather the team, purchase equipment, and you know, uh, venture out on our own and step out on faith and try to get these boys a better outlet. And doing that, we ended up in Las Vegas, we ended up in Arizona, and we ended up in Florida, all in the same year. So it ain't about the championship, it's about my kids and the life experiences. Okay, so you said that uh None of these kids will have to pay for school, right? Nah. So, so is that what's most important? Yeah, free education. That's what we're here for. So, for instance, um, I had like 17 kids in my house. It's not a, just about football. We up, we on the, uh, I got two parents with me, my wife and my other coach, Rick wife. They sat there and helped them kids do all their homework. Made sure all homework was done, all schoolwork was done, they was logged in. Even though we was down here for a whole week, them kids just not, did not miss one day of class. We made sure they was in class every day, even though we played every other day. But it's, it's about school, it's about education. They haven't had three losses in the last three, four years. No, so to but... Have a, have a season like this, what does this moment... Well, we, like I said... We took a step out on faith in this year. We actually traveled to Bullhead, Arizona to play different type of teams. We traveled out of our comfort zone to play different teams that we wouldn't normally play in a regular season. We learned a few lessons. We know they coming to play us here next year. So things will be a little bit different and on an even playing field. So us taking three losses, I think it prepared us. We played two West Coast teams over there, okay, and they home. Then we came in AYF and played three West Coast teams, and Vegas Strong, and AZ Jags, and it was another Arizona team or something like that. But it prepared us for the West Coast style of football. On the East Coast, we used to smash mouth power football, which was just displayed right there. All right, last thing, Coach, anything you want to say to the fans? I just want to tell all my Clock Boy fans, all my family, I love them to death. Is DC or what? DC or nothing. Yeah. Nothing! Thank you, Coach. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Congratulations man. Congratulations again. Appreciate it. My name's Tariq Denson. I'm a running back for the Watkins Hornets. Do you feel like you play better on uh, big stages? Finish, or do you feel like this man, is just kind of how you've been all year? Oh my God. Well, this is how I've been all year. Um, basically, I, I run power. You know what I'm saying? I just run power. I play how I play. I just have fun on the outside on the field. So, you go up early, your first touchdown, big run. Um, how did you feel after that win? Did you feel like there was some pressure taken off of you and your team? Or did you feel like, okay, let's keep stepping on that net? Let's keep stepping on the net because, you know, it was only the first half. Uh, first half. The game wasn't over. It was only 8-0. So 
you see how they came down and scored. So yeah, I had to step it up a notch. All right, so three-time champion. What do you want to do to prepare for next season to have a better, to, have to be a four-time champion? I'm gonna just work hard like I usually do. Yeah. So, is there anybody you want to shout out, and do you want to, uh, you know, let everybody know how they can follow you on Instagram? I um I want to shout out my pops that's over there. My mom. I don't know where she at, and I want to shout out my coaches and my teammates. You got shirt on now. And shout out Lil Day Day. Rest in peace. And my Instagram is 20k.reek. Okay. Well, thank you for the interview, y'all.